Hello humans and welcome to Atlas Mega 10 Mondays. It's that time again when we discuss all things Atlas and all things Shin Megami Tensei and everything else in between in the Atlas universe. So sit back, relax, and let's see what we're going to talk about today in the Atlas Mega 10 universe. This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. On today's episode... Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Genix Gamer. Today, a very special second edition to Atlas Mega 10 Monday. Wow, what a crazy, crazy day it's been. You know, guys, this uh, video that I released today, this morning, I recorded on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> I was telling everybody that. Um, and I didn't even know of the announcement because I was driving on my way to work. And all of a sudden, I start getting all these notifications from my YouTube channel. And lo and behold, I learned the truth. <laughs> It was great, man. It was a, uh, it was a great way to start off the week, and man, it's it's uh, it's brightened up my day for sure. You know, it's it's brightened up this year, a year that you know hasn't been good for most of us. Well, anyway, um, there's some new subscribers here, so let me introduce myself. I am the Gen X Gamer, and I do Atlas Mega Ten Mondays, where I discuss all things Atlas and all things Shin Megami Tensei. Um, you know, and I pick different topics, things that I'm interested in. Now, if you have questions of how I came to the conclusions that I did, I actually posted in, in the video why I was thinking the things that I thought about the remaster and why it should happen and, and why we were gonna hear something about Shin Megami Tensei 5. I'm telling you, I felt so lucky of bringing those two subjects up when I did that uh, I'm gonna buy some lotto tickets here, right? What what are their chances of getting two things right like that? But um, you know, it was just deduction, things that I knew had to happen um, because I mean, there's just so much that you can do with these franchises, and money was just being left on the table, right? Uh, when it came to Shin Megami Tensei Five, I just knew that it had to be a quality game, and I knew that they were putting a lot into this because it has to be a hit and by the reaction today you know that this game is, is going to surpass you know whatever the expectation whatever the initial um, expectation was regardless I wanted to give you some bonus content um, here of my thoughts on Dante not being in the remaster let me tell you, it's it's complicated because of licensing, but it's not all lost. I think that the inclusion of Dante on the original Nocturne was very important, as I mentioned on my original videos, because it, it brought other eyeballs to the franchise. You know, um, there are many, many Dan Dante fans or Dante, however you want to say it, and excuse my. Um, my accent here that sometimes comes out um that you can see i mean you can see them post right now oh i'm not gonna buy this game if it doesn't have dante in it um they're big big uh fans of devil may cry a game that i you know loved when it first came out also um but not all is lost and let me tell you why the fact that it has more to do with licensing i mean for me i'm not that upset because I love Raidu. Um, full disclosure, Raidu is my favorite SMT character of all the Atlas um, video games that have ever been created. Raidu is my favorite character, hands down. So I have no complaints about um, the remaster. But for those people that want Dante and wanted to play and, you know, have him on the game and maybe select him as a playable character for the full journey um, I'm telling you don't despair and let me tell you why in these issues when it when it comes to licensing especially between Capcom and Atlas it, it can get a little messy you can get like uh, Jada said in an entanglement <laughs> but 
um, but with all the problems that modern gaming has, there, there, there are some advantages, and there are advantages when it comes to DLC, and this is it. When it comes to licensing, the number one problem is money, 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 money. How are we going to split the profits? How are we going to split the licensing fees? Yada yada yada. Well, if you make Dante, and I'm not saying this is going to happen, but if it does happen, it should happen like this. If you make Dante a DLC character, then you can separate the revenue for Capcom. What, what really is the entanglement is when you put all the characters together in one game and you say, well, you know, uh, you know, how do you split it off, right? How do you know people are buying this game because of SMT or what was the influence of Dante? How do you quantify that in money in a percentage, right? Do you give them 10%, 15%? With DLC, all that is erased, right? Because now you have people specifically paying for this content because he is in it. And coming to an arrangement would be much, much easier. Now, am I saying that this is already done? No. But Capcom, ha Capcom has shown the willingness uh, of sharing its characters with Nintendo. And if Nintendo sees this release going gangbusters, I'm sure they'll put in a phone call. Hey, you know, what do you think about XYZ? How much would you pay? Let me ask you. Say, just think about it off the top of your head. How much would you pay for Dante DLC? 10? 20? I think 20 is a good solid number, right? 20 is a good solid number, and depending on the install base, you know, and I, I, I can safely say that I think that the sales for the remaster are going to at least equal at least equal persona 4 golden if not surpass them right on the success that that um, persona 4 golden had on on steam i can see this happening on on the switch and um i want to say that i i think most people are not like me you know most people aren't going to go there and get the physical copy and pay extra money for all that I'm just a sick individual. I'm a game hoarder, especially when it comes to Shin Megami Tensei games. <laughs> I buy everything. And uh, that's the other thing, guys. The merchandising for this, I think, is going to be pretty good. I'm very, very optimistic. I mean, I am a little sad, I guess, that Dante wasn't in the remaster from the get-go. But at the same time, I understand it. And I think we can all understand it. Man, I'm telling you, if it comes in as a DLC, again, they're just going to print money just like they're going to do with, with Nocturne. Uh, because so many of us have been wishing for it. And now with the voice acting, I mean, it's just going to be a better, better, better experience. Alright guys, I just wanted to make a real quick video, a second video to kind of explain, you know, how this came about. I really made the... The video uh, predicting SMT5 um, on Saturday and I was off by a month I was thinking they were gonna do it on the Nintendo Direct for for September that they usually do that was actually my prediction so I was a little bit off but I was um, okay about the timing because I saw what what was going on behind the scenes right not that I have any extra uh, knowledge that anybody else could have deduced what was going on but you know I just happened to do it at the right time now guys thank you thank you thank you for subscribing thank you for joining me thank you for your comments I'm gonna put the links for my Twitter Facebook all that other stuff you have if you have any suggestions for mega 10 Mondays or anything you'd like to discuss just let me know drop me a line you know I, I this is the favorite my favorite part of of uh, my channel is Atlas Mega Ten Monday because um, Shin Megami Tensei is my favorite, and I mean favorite of all time um, series. And uh, man, it's it's been such a great ride, and 
And to, to be a true Shin Megami Tensei fan is to know suffering. That is my favorite line, right? How long we have to wait. Anyway, guys, I put uh, videos of my collection uh, every Sunday. That's what I do every Sunday morning. I'll put a, a video, and I've recorded up to, I think, September sometime. And that's if you want to watch different type of content. Once in a while, I drop opinion. But if you just want Atlas Mega Ten con content, then be here every Monday, and you'll get it. All right, guys. Never, ever be afraid to be happy, and there's always hope out there. Thank you for joining me. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and remember, never be afraid to be happy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.